Hi and welcome back. So in this video, we'll take a look at a concrete um, algorithm of how lexical analyzers function. So the first step to uh, lexical analysis is to uh, write a regex for uh, a regular expression for each of the token class that we want. So uh, write regex for uh, token classes. And uh, what we mean by this is that for every uh, token class that we have, we need a regular expression. I hope you know what regular expressions are. Uh, for keywords, we could have regular expression. Uh, for keywords, we could just have a, uh, a set containing the finite keywords. Uh, there aren't many keywords in most languages. Um, next, for identifiers, um, we already discussed this in the theory of computation course, I think. But uh, we could have something like um, alphabet uh, followed by an alphabet or a digit uh, star, where alphabet, of course, means A to Z as well as underscore. So this is, uh, I think, the regular expression for identifiers. And uh, for, uh, for integers, we could just have uh, a digit plus. We need at least one digit. Uh, so Similarly, we can write regular expressions for each of the token classes. And uh, next, what we do is um, we combine all of these uh, regular expressions and form a union of all of these. So let R be uh, R1 plus R2 plus and so on up to uh, of whatever regular expressions we have. So R is a union of all of them. So uh, this is the next step. We just construct a union of uh, all of our regular expressions. Uh, step three is uh, consider our input to be uh, x1, x2, x3, and so on up to xn. So this is our input. And um, so that's just our input. And step four is uh, what we do is we check um, x1, x2, and so on up to xi, uh, whether this belongs to the language represented by R, which is the union of all of the regular uh, expressions that we've written. So uh, we check this for um, all of our i. So my i will go from uh, 1 to n. So that's my i. And uh, we once we check that this does belong to the language represented by the regular expression given by R, the next step is to identify which uh, which regular uh, which token class this string actually belongs to. So that's step five. So step five is um, of course if four was a success, if uh, four success then um, check which uh, which one it belongs to so x1 x2 and so on up to xi from step four uh, see that it belongs to the language represented by some rj so uh, it belongs to l of rj for some j and um, at this point what we have is uh, a token because uh, we know that uh, L of RJ will, uh, we probably have given it some name. So let's just assume that L of RJ is a keyword. So uh, the token that we have constructed is that X1, X2, and so on up to XI is, uh, uh, sorry about that. So, so on up to XI is a keyword. So we have x1, x2, and so on up to xi, and then keyword. So this is the token that we've created. And uh, the next step is uh, to just remove uh, x1, x2, and so on up to xi from uh, the input. So remove from input. And uh, then we just reset to step three, which was, um, to uh, consider the input as x1, x2, and so on up to xn, and 
then check whether it belongs to L of R and then identify uh, which RJ it belongs to. So uh, remove from input and go to step three. So this is the algorithm that uh, lexical analyzers would follow. And uh, there are still some ambiguities as we discussed in the previous video, there uh, might be some problems with lexical analysis. For example, um, how much input should be used? Uh, so which means that uh, what if um, X1, X2 and so on up to XI belongs to L of RJ and x1 x2 and so on up to x uh, x k belongs to some l of um, r m so uh, what if two different length strings belong to uh, uh, are still uh, part of the language so these are some of the ambiguities that will still come up but we'll talk about them in detail about uh, in the next video in this video i hope you've understood the algorithm uh, for lexical analysis if you did, don't forget to give the video a like, share the video with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you next time.